So ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano magawa ng uh, tax magsulat, mag-fill up ng tax information. Kasi may bagong patakaran si Lolo na kailangan natin maglagay ng tax information kasi required na yan for all the YouTuber or content creator sa ano. So, ito, uh, yung dashboard natin. For example, nasa home tayo. For example, ng Google AdSense natin, mag-login tayo. And then, mapunta tayo sa payments. Ayan. So, nandito sa payments, makikita natin yung ano, uh, meron siyang parang note dito sa taas. Sabi niya, your payments are currently on hold. Tapos yung sa baba, important, check if additional tax information is required from you. So, ito yung fill up natin. So, pindutin natin yung manage tax info. Ayan. Okay. So, dyan. Ito yung ano niya. Add tax info. Pindutin natin to. Okay. Tapos tatanungin niya yung password mo. Okay. So, And, so, ito yung unang tanong niya. To find the right tax from you, please answer a few questions first. So, ito, madali lang naman siya. What type of account is Iris TV? Anong klaseng account yon? Individual ba or non-individual? Individual means ikaw lang yung nag-manage ng account. Pero kapag non-individual, may kasama kang nag-manage ng account mo, pwede mo siyang pindutin ng non-individual. So, since sa akin is individual, dito ko lang to. The next. Are you a citizen or resident of the United States? Kung residente ka ng United States, of course, yes. Kapag hindi, no. The next. Ayan. So, select W8 tax form type based on your previously selected answer. So, ito, sab ang pagkakalam ko dito, yung W8 Ben, since uh, hindi tayo ano, US individuals, yan yung pipindutin natin. Kapag ano ka naman, kapag US ka, pag nasa US ka, yung W8 ECI. Okay, so W8 BEN ang pipindutin natin dito. Lalo na yung, yung mga nasa outside ng US. Okay. So, start W8 Ben form. Hintayin lang natin. Yan. So, dito, kapag wala ka pang PIN number, hindi mo siya need i-fill upan. Okay? Itong DBA, doing business as name or this regarded entity so country of citizenship so kailangan natin lagan for example syempre Pilipinas or depende kung anong ano ka indiano ka ba <laughs> so yan hanapin lang natin yung Philippines yan Philippines okay So, ito, uh, yung doing business as yung DBA. Name is a company name different from the owner's name. So, pagkakaintindi ko dito, uh, this regarded entity is a business entity that has a single owner, isn't a corporation under US tax law, and is not considered an entity separate from its owner for US federal income tax purposes this is usually shown in the reference number line in the tax form so kung hindi nyo siya naiintindihan pindutin lang natin yung more about more about disregarded entities yan so ako ikaklose ko na siya itong foreign tin um, kapag may tin number kayo pwede nyo na ilagay dyan ok 
Okay? So sa akin kasi, hindi ko pa nakuha yung pin number ko. I'm just waiting for it. Kapapadala lang niya. Kapapadala lang niya nung February 24. Kaya, I'm just waiting for, for it para mag-fill up ako dito ulit. So, for now, pwede siyang in-next. Next lang natin siya. Tapos yan. Mag-fill up lang tayo. Uh, of course, lagi natin i-check muna. Basahin kung ano yung mga fini-fill upan natin. For example, dito, permanent residence address. Of course, yes. Tapos, address line. Yan, isulat natin yung address natin dito. So, yung postal code, kung hindi nyo lang yung postal code nyo, search nyo lang natin sa, ano, sa um, Google. No? Tapos yung province, since ang province ng Cavite is Cavite. Okay. So, yung postal code, search natin. Lagi ko siyang nakakakalimutan. Cavite Gen 3S Postal Code. Yan, 4107. So, balikan natin siya, 4107. Mailing address is the same, yes. So, mailing address is same as permanent resident address. Kung ano yung nilagay nyo sa um, PIN address nyo, kapag parehas kayo ng ano, permanent address nyo, i-check nyo yung box. Then next, so yan, okay, basahin nyo ulit, so tama naman siya, so are you, yung number 3 questions, yung fill upan natin, sabi are you a claiming a reduced rate or with holding under a tax treaty, so, so no. Kasi, hindi tayo US. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 30% tax. Withholding tax on payments that are considered US source. So, ang pagkakaalam ko dito, um, itong no, yung 30%, hindi pa pala siya yung pinaka ibabawas nila sa atin. Kasi kapag nasa outside ka ng US, mas may possibility na mas maliit pa yung ano, ipapataw nilang tax sa atin. Okay, next. So, ito na yung next niya. Number 4, uh, document preview. So, ito na yung finilapan ko. So, download nyo siya para meron kayong copy. Okay. So, open natin. So, ito. So, okay. Ayan na yung aking W8 Ben um, Certification of Foreign Status of Beneficial Owner for United States Tax Withholding and Reporting Individuals. So, ayan na siya. So, balikan natin yung pinifilapan natin. Hmm, dito. Okay. So, yung number 4, uh, i-confirm lang natin itong ano, na-review na natin siya kung tama ba o hindi. Okay. So, since tama naman siya, Yes. Uh, check lang natin yung box. Okay? So, next. So, ito na yung certification. Sabi niya dito, Under penalties of prejury, I declare that I have examined the information on this form 
and to the best of my knowledge and belief it is true, correct, and complete. I further certify under penalties of perjury that ayan, ito yung mga kailangan natin basahin. Intindihin na lang po natin siya. Okay? So, ayan siya. Basahin natin siya. Basahin natin siya. And then, once na okay na, nabasa na natin lahat, ilagay na natin ang full name natin dito. Okay. Tapos, are you the person listed in the signature section? Yes, I am. Doon yan, tinatanong niya kung, in, kung may nagmamanage ba ng account mo. So, for sure, tayo lang din na may nagmamanage ng account natin. Karamihan, actually, ng content creator, mas maganda na tayo yung nagmamanage ng account. Okay. Tapos, index lang natin siya. Yan. So, dito sa last, um, sabi niya, activities and services performed in US and affidavit. So, has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for Google within US? So, hindi naman ako nasa US. And so, you no. Know. Okay. Certify that the services provided to Google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the US. Yes. So, andito lang naman ako sa Pilipinas. Kaya, um, yan yung, pinin, yung fill up ko. So, status change affidavit. Are you providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile? that hasn't received payments or an existing payments profile that has previously so ako hindi pa ako nakareceive ng aking uh, pin so dito siguro ako sa yung first choice niya is I am providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments so ayan so, ito yung mga hindi pa nakaka-receive ng PIN at saka hindi pa sumasahod sa Google AdSense nila. Okay? So, submit na natin. Double check lang natin ulit kung tama lahat ng ating um, finil upan, tax identity, individual, country, Philippines. Okay? And double check lang natin. Okay. Okay. Correct naman siya. Then, submit na natin. So, yun. Approve na agad. So, napakabilis lang, di ba? in na agad ni Google AdSense yung tax declaration natin. Okay? So, kung may questions kayo, anything about it, just leave a comment. Uh, I will personally reply to your comment kung ano man yun. So, kung di ka pa nakapag-subscribe, Pakilike na lang po or subscribe po ang ating um, channel for more uh, tutorial videos. So, itong tutorial video na to, ginawa ko lang siya kasi marami nagtatanong sa akin kung paano to. Hindi, hindi ko naman siya content pero mas uh, may alam lang ako konti. So, maraming salamat sa inyong panunood. And sana naitindihan nyo at may natutunan kayo. Okay? So dito nakita natin may 30% na ibabawas si Lolo sa ating ano, sa ating kita. Okay? So maraming maraming salamat po and God bless you all.